Hi hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So this is my entry into the Psychedelic 60s group build which is uh, being run by Dan the Man, 60s Rule. Um, I, although this vehicle was uh, produced in the 50s, I had a word with Dan about whether I could uh, use it and he said yes yeah, I could. So um, I have got the GB hosts uh, thumbs up for this one. Um, I have had a look on the internet to see if I could find a Land Rover that was um, in psychedelic colours. I couldn't, which uh, seems a bit odd to be honest. I would have thought there would have been a few in the 60s that had been um, had some like floral decor on it or something. So I'm just going to I'm just going to have fun um, jazzing this up a bit with colours and, and things like that. Um, I'll just uh, open the box so you can see that it hasn't been started. So there you go guys, uh, <clears throat> it's all still in the plastic bag. I think this is a new tool from Airfix. Um, I don't know whether it was um, produced in 2023. Um, I've heard some good things about it. So I'm hoping it's going to be a, a nice straightforward build. This is a 143 scale, if you didn't notice on the box. So not quite half the size of, uh, of the normal car um, models that uh, people do in 124, 125. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, um, this group build kind of inspires me to one, build a car, two, have fun, um, as I say, um, decorating it and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna do this as one video. So um, the next time you see this, hopefully it'll be mainly constructed. We shall see, so I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so some progress on the uh, on the Land Rover. Um, what I need to do, obviously, is paint the interior. So what I've done is um, uh, got it to this stage. Then I've masked off um, the clear parts uh, and I've sprayed the interior black. What I'll do now is um, I think I'll probably paint it up the... Um, um, like British, was it British armor? Olive drab 44-45 that I usually use for um, my British tanks. Because um, a lot of the um, the Land Rovers were finished in, in a, a deep green. And I think that might work well. So I'm going to paint the interior. And then once I've done that, then I can uh, complete uh, the construction of the Land Rover. And then I can look at... Um, making it a, a psychedelic 60s vehicle from the outside. So when you need, when you next see this, it'll probably be all put together and, uh, and undercoated. So I'll catch you in a bit. Okay guys, so the Land Rover is uh, all constructed, apart from the wheels haven't been put on. I shall put those on at the end. Um, I've masked off the windscreen, side windows and rear window, and I've also put some blue tack on the headlights so that I can start hopefully having some fun with uh, getting some colour on this. Um, I have no idea what kind of scheme I'm going to produce for a, uh, the psychedelic paintwork on, on, the, uh, on the Land Rover. I'm just going to uh, wing it as I go along. So I think the base coat will be um, a gloss white and then I'll move on to adding um, other rattle can colours um, trying to put some kind of design on it but then again I may just think sod it and just spray bits of the vehicle and and just leave it at that. So the next time you see this it will be completed um, and so I'll catch you in a bit. Hi everyone so I'm back. Um, unfortunately I didn't uh, take video footage of the vehicle made up um, or the, uh, the undercoat, the first undercoat on. Um, it is now finished. Um, I've had one or two issues with the paint uh, and the way I was trying to do it, but I'll explain that in the bit. So I'll show you the finished build, but um, there are, I think, about four photos showing the process of uh, painting it. Uh, they're just stills, so I'll show you those first and then we'll uh, have a look at the completed build. OK, 
Okay guys, so here is the completed build. Um, I hate putting uh, stuff on the turntable because um, if I have to edit this, you'll see that the vehicle jumps from one position to another. <laughs> um, so, hopefully from the photos you could see what, it, what I was temp attempting to do. Um, I was using rattle cans, uh, all Tamiya paints. Um, so the undercoat was actually a white, uh, a gloss white. Uh, then what I did was I put um, some um, circles on there um, out of masking tape uh, and I also used some blue tack. Um, then <clears throat> once I'd got enough of those on I sprayed the whole vehicle yellow. Um, then once that was dry I used some more masking tape to give some various shapes on the vehicle. Um, then I sprayed it green and then I put more um, image, well sorry more um, masking on there as you can see a lot of the flower petals are in green that's because I couldn't find the, the punch to to do it any sooner so those were put up, stuck on and then the vehicle got it to a final coat of uh, purple uh, once it was all dry uh, when the purple was dry obviously then I started taking the, the masks off. Um, I've had to do quite a bit of repair on various colours. Um, there was uh, some um, seepage of the one of the colours into another one. Um, there were issues where <clears throat> uh, the petals, uh, when I pulled the, I actually used um, post-it notes, the sticky uh, part of the post-it note and stuck that on and some of them worked fine others I don't know whether they reacted with the still drying paint the still drying green um, and so when I pulled it off it didn't work particularly well um, so that was unfortunate so I've had to go over the as I say the various colours with um, acrylic paints um, fortunately most of them match quite well, the yellow match quite well, the green was a bit darker, the purple um, is possibly the best. Um, that worked really well, the, the, I've got a really nice match with uh, my um, AK paints and then of course the white and, and the yellow. Um, so the last thing to do after I've done all that was to um, paint the grill. Uh, <clears throat> I painted the windscreen frame on the outside uh, like a, a silver as well. One of the reasons for doing that is I think that it should be silver anyway. In fact, I think there should be quite a bit more silver on the exterior of the Land Rover. But it also, when I pulled the um, masking from the windscreen off, the, it pulled some of the um, some of the purple paint. Uh, so there was quite a, a jagged edge to that. So I. Uh, basically try to clean that up a bit as I say with the with the silver um, put the decals on uh, there was only four uh, there was the Land Rover symbol on front and back and then there was the registration number front and back um, painted the wheels uh, they're painted with uh, AK paints acrylics uh, I think they the um, the Temerous Black or Temerous Grey, whatever it's called, I think works really well for uh, for tyres. Um, so that was that. Painted the underside. It was initially black on the underside, but uh, when I'd been doing all the spraying and whatever, um, various colours had picked up on the bottom, so I had to paint it black again. Um, I think that was it. Um, the only issue, of course, using the acrylic paint is that um, you've got a matte finish where it should be a gloss finish, so you may see some uh, difference in some parts of the paint job. But what I like about this group build, it's just a lot of fun. Um, it's just, you could just knock yourself out doing whatever you want to do to a vehicle. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to take part. Um, but when the when the mask came off and I found all those problems with the with the various paints uh, on the summit, that was a bit of a downer for me. But um, but we got there in the end. I want to thank uh, Dan 
um, for running this. Uh, re as I say, I really do enjoy and uh, I look forward to you running it next year, Dan, please, if you don't mind. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Um, what's next? Uh, I've still got the um, wheeled vehicles in military use group build going on. Um, so I've been adding a few more parts to my third vehicle for that one. And of course the um, great mini paint challenge from uh, Mini Warm Up is uh, happening at the moment as well. So I can um, get another, perhaps um, I might get a character figure finished for that. Anyway, it's uh, the weekend. I hope uh, yours is going well. Um, mine certainly is uh, with this, I, you know, although I've said one or two issues about it, I really have enjoyed doing this and I quite like the finished result. By the way, the Land Rover kit is a really nice kit to put together. I had no issues at all. And I may use this kit for um, for other car um, GBs that are going on in the year. Anyway, I'll show bugger off now. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thank you to the new subscribers who joined the channel. I hope you enjoy the content and I really uh, do appreciate you supporting supporting me and to my old hands who um, who encourage me and uh, basically buoy me up to, to to continue to do the hobby and and uh, try different things thanks ever so much guys take care